The annual Christmas parade is Thursday, December 2nd. Starting at 5 p.m., we will begin at the Banner News and go around the square and end at SAU. Hope to see you all there. Report cards will go out Friday, January 7th in your second period class. The Winter Choir Concert will be on Thursday, December 9th at 6 p.m. in the Performing Arts Center. Our choir will set the spirit for the Christmas season. No, all will be there to support our choir. Let me show you how it's done. Winter Band Concert, this festival, this festival concert will be Tuesday, December 7th at 6 p.m. in the Performance Arts Center. That's it, folks. This is Panthers TV, and I'm Tristan Chambliss, and today I'll be talking to you on the subject of tardies and why students can't make it to class on time. Magnolia Panthers always try their hardest to be able to make it to class on time, but there are many different factors that go into tardiness, and students are not always at fault. Well, I'm usually tardy during second period, getting breakfast from first to second, because the carts, whenever they have the carts with breakfast, the lines get so long. And so by the time I do get my breakfast, the party bell is already rung, and the teachers don't excuse that. And with the clock stuck at 322, the students who don't have phones or watches aren't able to keep up with the time changes. The first excuse that I get is that, uh, well, they just got let out of class late by the other teacher. Uh, the second and most common excuse that I get is, well, Mr. Sanders or Mr. Carter or one of the principals or one of the coaches held me up. And I'm like, well, if they hold you up, you know, Tell them to bring you to class. And then, of course, the third one was the bathrooms are busy. Four minutes is just not enough time to get through the crowd in the bathroom and then go to the bathroom and then make up like all the way to your class. I feel like the time should be more like five or six minutes. First of all, punctuality is, is set. If you're not punctual, people are going to wonder whether you're going to show up or not. People can't depend on you. You have a set time. You're supposed to be there. The responsibility shows that you will be there since so it's your person of your word. Here at Magnolia High School, we all have a long way to go to correct tardies, and we all have to do our part. For Panthers TV, this is Tristan Chambliss. Hi, my name is Lindsay Carr. Welcome back to the Magnolia High School News. Last Friday, our team, the Magnolia Panthers, beat Valley View, Arkansas 42-14. to This coming Friday, we will be playing Pulaski Academy in Little Rock, Arkansas. Now, a word from our coach, Coach Odell. Uh, hey, good morning. This is uh, I'm Coach Odell, Michael Odell. Uh, I coach defensive line for the senior high football team. Uh, I think we went into the Valley View game with a very specific game plan, and our our kids executed on all all sides of the ball, uh, both offense and defensively, and special teams. And I think our our kids put themselves in a good position to win the game and took care of business early and uh, helped us move on to the second round. Um, we are heading into this game with the uh, with the idea that we're going up there to play our best and uh, try to pull out a win. Um, you know, if you want to if you want to be called the best, you have to beat the best, and I think that's definitely the road we're on. And uh, I think the kids are excited about playing. The coaches are are, are excited about getting a shot against uh, Pulaski Academy, and and hopefully we can take care of business Friday night. Uh, when you when you look at our team, uh, you you definitely see a lot of teamwork. Our offense has had a lot of success moving the ball on the ground this year, and that takes an entire team unit, uh, from the guys up front to the uh, skilled players behind them. And uh, on defense, uh, same thing. Good team aspect. Uh, everyone flying to the ball, and and uh, all of us playing good Panther football. Communication is a big part of everyone's life. And without communicating effective, effectively with others, you won't know what to do or say, and this can affect your job or someone else's. You have to learn to communicate without getting annoyed or frustrated. Just communicate with others and be respectful so you can get through your day and go home. And this, this is, is a, a tip, tip from internship. internship.